I did my internship at Sage Growth Partners, uh, which is a local Baltimore uh, life sciences focused and healthcare focused uh, consulting firm. Um, it was two months uh, during the last summer, um, and I, I basically got everything that I hoped for uh, at the internship. The, uh, real engagements with clients and the ability to actually take charge of the projects and, and, and analyze problems and deliver value and impact to the clients. Yeah, I, was, I think I was kind of lucky. I, I got to work on uh, four different projects, uh, very huge projects actually, um, which included uh, one of the uh, largest managed care organization in the country, or at least on the East Coast. Um, and uh, they were being acquired for about $120 million. And I was able to analyze all the uh, factors that involved in that deal and make a recommendation or um, uh, deliver information to the client. And then the second project I worked on was uh, a sales strategy for a leading um, medical device a company. And that was very interesting which, uh, because um, I was able to utilize some of my scientific knowledge and help the company and the client to uh, better adjust their messages to their customers. And then I also worked on some other pricing and organizational redesign projects. And I think overall, um, they have all been the same thing in terms of uh, helping me gaining more insights into how consulting is actually done in the real world and also how to deal with clients. A lot of things helped me prepare for uh, the internship. Um, I actually did internship uh, very recently, and two years before that, I started being interested in consulting as a career, and I started doing some case competitions, and I won a couple of, of them. Um, and then I started doing some pro bono consulting projects because I wanted to uh, translate some of those skills and knowledge that I learned through case competitions to real world um, kind of consulting projects. And so I started working uh, with some local as well as global pharmaceutical and healthcare clients um, here. Um, and I think all of those experiences helped me um, then to apply those uh, on, in my internship. For someone who's considering doing an internship, first of all, I think they need to uh, have done the homework in terms of the different, different career paths they can take um, as a graduate student or with a PhD. Um, I mean, nowadays there's a bunch of career paths you can take, consulting, equity research, science outreach, communications, policy, you know, other things. So you need to decide for yourself um, what type of careers fits your personality and your passion and your motivation. And then once you've decided that, then you uh, then need to uh, think about whether an internship would actually be helpful at the stage where you're at. So if I were to say two years ago I would do the internship, it might, might not have been as helpful as it was uh, yet, uh, last year. Uh, because I wasn't prepared. I didn't have the knowledge or the skills to actually help the client or help the company. But because I was prepared, when I did the internship, I knew what kind of opportunities I can take on. Uh, I, I know how I can apply my skills better in the team environment. I would say it definitely helped me a lot. Um, I, uh, although I had those pro bono consulting projects with real clients in the industry, I think I was still doing it uh, as a student and kind of self-learning a little bit. But having seen how consulting is done um, f by a very experienced partner in the firm with a real client and learning that way uh, on the first-hand experience, I think that really helped me uh, you know, staying calm and collected when in the case interview, there's a very difficult problem or a very difficult client or a situation that I have to solve. Um, so I would say that if, if, if someone is really interested in consulting and is prepared, they should definitely uh, consider an internship, um, which will be helpful for their interviews and getting a job uh, in consulting.